Mesa ma adepa TV ya shefwe nina kwa ba. Akta Prince David Osei akasa. Wabra oka se. Eye NPP ni nabayi. Chese omu 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 sa esi fome sa nse omu kampeni ma omu ye pa e ya batu oni mu. Nese o neni abre pa neni abre pa esi an tax awo di atoto e ye insuyo ene light neni ama hudu oso ni. Yenko tiye Prince David Osei. Um so why is it that in Ghana here um everything has to be politicized? Everything in Ghana here has to be politicized. Everything. Even if you wish well for the country, it has to be politicized. Yesterday, I put up a post and um, I was saying that the government should reconsider, you know, taxing the people. Hey, blues, blues, Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. I'm still in the mood of the blues, man. Beautiful performance yesterday. Yeah, so <clears throat> I'm saying the government should reconsider the, uh, what's it called? The tax, I believe in taxation. The primary source of revenue for every country is tax, taxation. It's taxes. That is what the American use to develop America. That's what Europe, that's what they use. We believe in tax. We believe in a uh, government, you know, um, receiving tax from the citizens. That's why we have VAT to, um, VAT 12.5%. We have uh, the NHIS levy, which is 2.5. We have the GET fund, which is 2.5. It's good for nation development. But my major concern is during the election, personally, I had to go stand close to a water tank where they wrote free water. It was part of their campaign message and strategy. I was out there telling people to vote in as much as we're talking about free education and other developmental stuff, you know, um, job for planting for food and uh, crops, other development projects that were going on. We we spoke about the kind benevolence of His Excellency, the President. We spoke about, you know, him, you know, caring about the people, providing free water for all this period during the lockdown pandemic, you know. And um, it was one of the qualities that we were really projecting out there. So when I heard the information minister say, the economy is doing poorly, which we all know it's been a global meltdown. Everybody's feeling it, America, Europe, everywhere. Nobody has been spared in this pandemic. But I was thinking there are other modalities and ways to get this money going by not necessarily, you know, telling the people we, you know, we offered free water and 50% uh, electricity too, to pay for the water that was offered to them freely. They didn't ask for the water. It was part of the president's benevolence. We could have used another means or another way of, you know, getting the citizens to pay for the tax. How about if we had said, oh, COVID-19 nation's recovery levy, 1%, 2%. It would have probably sunk well and a lot of people would have understood that, oh, but if you tell them that they, are, they have to pay for the water they used last year, the free water they use, if they have to pay for it, because um, the economy is not doing well, we have to pay salary wages and all of that stuff. I understand you, but if you tell them that they have to pay for the water they use, then we are not being fair. Because as I rightly said, we could have used other means and ways of getting, uh, what's it called, getting this money paid for, without necessarily telling the people to their face, uh, the water you used last year, you have to pay. It doesn't mean I don't love MPP. It doesn't mean I don't love Nana Kofuado. If you, you want us to be very fair with each other. During the campaign season, I was very vocal with my friends, my colleagues, my brothers. We went as far as Cape Coast, Taka, we we're going to people's homes. We we're meeting people, canvassing, preaching the form of an Nana agenda, preaching free water, free SHS, preaching all this. And the people looked up to us some people voted because of the message we're carrying. We drove. We made sacrifices. Some of us fasted. Some of us prayed. Some of us sowed seed. Some of us did charity. Just to ensure in our own small way that the president retained power. It's very sad when 
we live in a nation and we, belo we, we believe in the progress and prosperity of the nation, yet we can't address societal issues. The fact that I disagree does not mean I don't love MPP or I don't love His Excellency Nanado Danko Akufuado. No. If the NDC people will pick it and run with it, it's okay, but not my fellow MPP people. The love we have for the party and His Excellency is unparalleled. We stood against our own brother, our own colleague at Ayawaso, just to canvas for vote for His Excellency. We did all that. Amidst the insults, the whatever, we stood tall. Even on election day, we were still campaigning. We love Nana Kufado, we want him to succeed. And that is why some of us, when certain issues come up, want to add our voice. We want him to succeed. We don't want him to fail. Last election, we lost over 30 seats because of some of this attitude. When something goes wrong, people cannot talk. Are you telling me Kennedy Japan doesn't love MPP? But when something bad is going on, he says it. I'm not saying we shouldn't take taxes. Taxes is the backbone of every nation's economy. It's the primary source of revenue for every country. Now, Joe Biden has given out, he's given 85% of Americans stimulus package. $1,400 each, 85% of Americans. Are you telling me Joe Biden will come back later to Americans and say, or his communication team will come back and say, um, because we gave you $1,400 as stimulus package to revive the economy, to spend money and to keep the economy going, um, you have to pay for it. No. They will look for modalities and ways to increase taxes and get the money back without telling the people to your face the uh, 1,400 stimulus package we give to you, you have to pay for it. That's the, that's the dichotomy. That's the difference. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying we shouldn't take taxes. No. Every nation needs tax to grow. So when I find some of our people insulting me on Facebook, it's, it's pathetic. I'm for you people. We are for you people. I and my colleagues are for you people. We put our life there. We put our career there. We put everything that we had out there for you people. So if you come back and you are insulting us and you are insulting me because I simply said the government or the president should look into what um, the information minister said about, you know, the citizens paying for the water they use. And I'm saying there are other means of, you know, taxing them. There are other means of getting this thing done. It, it shouldn't be uh, because, uh, what's it called? The economy is not running well. If the economy is not running well and uh, consumption is weak, we can't tax the people. If people are not spending money, we need to inject money into the system. If people are not spending money, then we have to tax investors. But if investors are not coming through, we have to look for other modalities. We can do with some parts of the excise tax, which is the sin tax. We can decide, okay, in order to make more revenue, let's tax alcohol, let's tax cigarettes, let's tax gambling and betting companies. It's also part of way of generating revenue. So some of you, I mean, it's, 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 it's so sad. In the next four years, we are going to go to these same people. And what would the message be? We came to you, we told you, you should give us four more years to do more for you. And that was the message. We told you, we gave you free water, free electricity, but four months later, we came to you and we told you you have to pay for the water and electricity. Is that what we are saying? Is that what we are saying? On the president's 21st address to the nation, he said he's extending the free water for one million healthline workers. That means it ends in this March. So if the president has been kind enough to do this, we shouldn't make it go down and make it look like, okay, the president did it out of goodwill and now we are telling the people it's a must you have to pay we could have used other modalities other means of letting them pay for this without any stress as i rightly said americans joe biden has given out stimulus package relief packages to americans but his communication team will not come and tell america america will have to pay for it in the next three months they know how to fix it in the tax system they know how to fix it and that's what i'm saying so if this will make some of you insult me then i don't know what to say we should think sometimes we should think for ghana 
partisan politics is good. I did it, and I'm doing it. But sometimes the bigger picture should be Ghana. We should put aside party colors, and the focus should be Ghana. Do you understand? It's just poor communication. The minister could have come out and say, oh, we are going to come up with, let's say, um, COVID-19 recovery levy, 1%. Nobody will shout. But if you come and tell them they are going to pay for the free water they used during the lockdown time, then people will start flaring up and saying, we threw dust in their eyes. Because that was some of the messages I was pushing for the campaign. That was one of my messages. It's still on my page. If you think I don't love MPP or Kufa, go to my page. From 2019 till now, most of the posts I have made, 92% of the posts has been for NPP and His Excellency Nanado Danko Akufado. When Akufado called me a firm believer and an advocate of the Ghana project, what do you think it meant? What do you think it meant? It meant he has seen some qualities in me. He's a seer. He's seen. I can't sit down and keep quiet because I supported MPP. How do I help the, the government to grow? How do I help MPP to grow? How do I help the government to sit on its toes if I don't talk? If there are certain issues that needs to be discussed and I keep quiet because I'm MPP or I supported MPP or my brothers that supported MPP with me should not talk. It's not like that. We should, we should go beyond that. As a nation, we should look at the bigger picture. We should think about stuff that will be beneficial to the entire country, not a section of people. It's, it's just sad. I started reading some of the comments on Facebook yesterday. I would have thought, oh, it would be the NDC because, I mean, they'll run along with it. It's okay. But fellow MPP people insulting me for what? Telling me I don't know the country, I don't know about taxation. Excuse you. What do you know about taxation? I just gave you some few instances of how we can, you know, generate revenue and create revenue. I made some comparison to, to the United States, to the Western world, how they go about taxing the citizens. You don't tell them, we don't run on the message of free water, free, free electricity, go to people's home, tell them this is what the government is doing. We're all happy about it. It was a brilliant initiative. Then after three months, you come back and the minister tells the people they have to pay for it because the country cannot run. You could have just said, oh, the nation's COVID-19 nation's recovery levy, 1%, 2%. Because we all know everybody has been hit by the pandemic. We all know. We all know we are going to pay for the money somehow. Obviously. When they were using the water and stuff, they, we all know we're going to pay for it. In as much as it was free, we know. But you don't come and tell us in our face. So now, next four years, if we go to the same electorate, the same people, and we want them to vote for us to keep us in power, what are we going to say? That we came to you with the free water, free electricity, have 50% electricity, and we're happy the president took that initiative. And three months later, we are telling you, you have to pay for that same free water you used. It's sad. It's sad. But the truth of the matter is, let's stop the, the silly comment and solid comment we give about people who come out boldly to say certain things. We don't hate anybody. I love His Excellency Nanado Danko Akufado. I love MPP. That is why some of us put our lives out there. If anything had happened to me during the election, or all anybody would have said, oh, the ones leave Prince David say. Some of the attacks I received, some of you have no idea. But we did it in good faith. I and my brothers and my colleagues did it because we love the party. We want Nana to succeed. And some of these behaviors that sometimes, you know, when you look back, you just say, ah. Prince David Osei, Ena Ekasano, Ha Ena Mdimu Esimi, Pacho Shwe Video, Nana Wa Subscribe, Edi Amaye, Wa Share, Wa Like, Ninyina Yebi, Fama Ye, Mdimu Esie, Femi Miss Ama Adepa.